Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 18 White Cap Bay Free Play for LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. As you can see down in the corner, we do nab all 10 mini kits and all 8 compass points. And hey, we are in the home stretch. If you haven't checked out our series before, we always give you a quick recommendation of who you should bring along. We uh, always recommend Blackbeard, and you're going to need a little touch of Serena or Philip. And uh, it always helps to have all the, the missions beat. We're getting to the point where it's almost impossible to not have had this level beat and play free play, because you have to play the story in order to get the free play unlocked. So we're getting pretty stinking close, peeps. Hopefully uh, you've been following along, and you're right tracking with us, and you're almost to 100% as well. All right, this is one of the more fun levels, I think. Uh, you know, there's quite a few fun ones, not too many unfun ones. But right off the bat, uh, we got lots of stuff going on. We got the mini kit finder flashing behind us. We can tell that there's something going on behind those silver boards. So we'll destroy them and grab the mini kit that waits there patiently for us. Now, right around the way, we've got some other silver bricks to blow up. So we'll go ahead and take those down right now. No sense in waiting, right? We'll build a little bridge that gets over there. And yeah, if, hey, if you're looking for story mode uh, help, if you need like specifics on how to beat this level, we do have a story mode walkthrough that covers all of that. But this is specifically for mini kits and compass items. So all to the end. Right off the bat there too, right next to the compass point, there's that lovely boat. Go ahead and smash it up and build it into the box. Feel free to slide it into the water if you want. We're going to go ahead and jump to the first compass point, which will follow it all the way around. Good thing we don't get uh, sucked up in that little tornado, huh? But one compass item down. So you can see down in the bottom, it did say five. We're going to have to uh, ignore that until we get caught up. Those are just the ones you needed from the story mode. More than likely, you probably have the same amount or more. And here we are. We're going to check it out. We're going to see that the first black and red box of dynamite is actually sitting way out in the water, as are the fishy. They're way over on the other side. So we'll have to get the fishy fishy in a little bit. And all right, little smash and grab. And we're going to actually head to the very back and knock over some blocks. And once we uh, get rid of those, we see a little small door. So we'll switch to Marty and move on up, moving on up to the small door. Running along, grabbing mini kits. Oh. All right, mini kit two in the bag. Now we did blow up that hole and we didn't go through it. We just grabbed the mini kit. So we're going to sneak on through right now. And as soon as we get through to the other side, we're going to pull out Jack and use his compass, and it's going to take us right on over to a mini kit. And follow it on down. Oh, yeah. All right, so compass item two now in the bag. We do need some somebody to dig it up, whether it's a dog or a spade or something. We'll go ahead and use Derek real quick, dig it on up, and then switch on over to Philip. All right. Booyaka Shao, three mini kits in the bag. There's a couple of other little floating uh, glass pieces here, little gra glass shards. You can destroy them, but it doesn't do anything for you. You should be familiar with the purple tentacles in the barrel, except for this time you get Mondo rewarded. You don't have to chase down a bunch of them. It just drops the mini kit right in your lap. So now the easy way to get out of here would be to simply to just turn around and walk back through that hole. But we get a little distracted following this compass, and then we realize, hey, what's this going on over here? So we see this little uh, pile of hot bricks. So we'll switch on over and forge them up nicely. Come on, come on, come on. Bing, bang, bang, bong, bang, bong, 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 bong. All right. God, that took a while. He's a slow forger. And then basically once you forge him, it just lifts up the purple clam and uh, opens up the mini kit. And that's right. Brian, the tamer of clams, has uh, successfully stolen yet another treasure. All right, so this one is, uh, we use Cursed Jack for this. You can use any of the pirates from the Black Pearl levels. So basically anyone who can walk on the floor, Bosun, uh, there's a lot of them. Davy Jones, there's a lot of them. Even, yeah, it's not even limited to the Black Pearl. And all right, so there we go. Go ahead and just basically fix the starfish once you're down there. And yeah, you might even be able to do it with somebody who can't walk on the seabed, but I didn't try that, so I'm not gonna recommend that. But feel free to try it. Let us know. And we're going to pop back up. And right over here, this is one of the little gray and red or black and red crates that we had to look for with our compass. Yeah, get off here, buddy. 
and we'll go ahead and use our compass point and find it. That's something that you found in the story mode and most likely already have. Um, and if you don't, you will have it. I mean, you ha I, I don't think you can ha not have it. So never mind. You have it. Let's just leave it at that. And uh, I had a little bit of trouble getting up on uh, abroad, up on the on the beach here. Look at me. All right. So now we're gonna switch over to Philip. Uh, you could also use Serena. And over on the front left side of the beach where we first started, there is some glass glowing bricks. We'll go ahead and destroy those. And now we'll just kind of move along with the story mode stuff real quick. There is a compass item right there. We haven't picked up the shovel yet. But again, I guarantee you have the shovel from the story mode. It's one of those early ones. Maybe you don't. I suppose it's possible. But you want to make sure you grab it. Simply picking it up will do the trick. But we always like showing you with the compass so that it actually looks legit. All right, this box, as you know, just builds up the bottom half of the bridge. Then if you want, you can switch on over and, you know, pull the bridge up. But, you know, we don't actually even do that. We bypass that whole point. We got Philip, so we're going to destroy the glass. Oh, and then lift up with Jack. Booyah. Now, once we get to the top up here, if you haven't already snuck around the back side, there is a mini kit back behind there. That's tricky. I love how they always, uh, every Lego game that I've played today always has a hidden mini kit behind some big round tower. Now you saw us destroy those black and red bricks right outside, and that's going to allow us to sneak in here. And we did speed this up a little bit more than the rest of the video just because it takes a little bit to solve this little puzzle. And, uh, well, it doesn't take a little bit. It took me a little bit. That's better, better wording there. All right, so we're going to need to actually activate the far left one first. As you can see, it fills the tube with green goo. And then we just need to kind of work our way across now that we've filled it halfway across. We realize, wait a minute, there are some blocks back here we can build. So now we can build those blocks. It'll actually secure that first lever, and then we can use our two guys to fill the next two. And uh, all to the yet yeah, rewards us with a mini kit for doing so. So yeah, knock everything down, build the blocks. That'll uh, then give you the left tube, and then we can go ahead and use the the right tubes with our other two dudes. Oh, that's, a, that's a mouthful. Oh, yeah. All right, so lift the first crate up. Obviously, you know where to put it. Slap it down, then drop down. And this time, instead of just going to grab the other one, we are going to actually use a strong character to pull this orange handle and sneak inside the bottom part of the tower. But that takes us all the way to the top. We're not ready for this yet, so we're going to go back down. <laughs> all right, so we do have a couple more things we want to wrap up before we get out of here. The next being compass item number five, which is the fishy fishy. We were right standing on top of it just a minute ago, but we were unaware of that. So we're going to pull it out and use it. It's right below the cliff. It's one of the lower cliffs. So uh, head on over there. Now there's a trident. This one is uh, out kind of, well, it's in the middle beach area right by where we started. So feel free to use this right at the beginning or whatever. If you're just now getting it, good for you. Oh, yeah. All right, so the last item that we can't see is the torch. It is at the very, very top of the uh, tower. So once we go up there, I promise you we will grab it. But the other item that we uh, we need to grab for this video, but you already have in your arsenal, is this last blo box uh, that we're going to take all the way to the top and uh, use the dynamite to blow a hole in the wall. So, uh, yeah, we're kind of... Uh, beating around the bush here. Realistically, we just need to make our way out to that bad boy, which row, row, row your boat is the easy way, but we take the long way and walk all day. That's a horrible rhyme. I'll work on that. You know, sometimes I nail it, sometimes I wing it, and just, no, just doesn't work out. All right, so here we go. We need to grab that box, though. Uh, that's basically going to take us right to the spot we needed to go, but, uh, oh, yeah, so... Now, we need to, uh, we should have made the box, but we don't need to. We don't need to do that. We found the compass point, so we're going to move along. Going to go all the way to the very tip, tip top of the tower. Once we get all the way up here, that'll bring us right to the torch. So the torch is there. We've got all co eight compass items. And now for the final mini kit. See, look, poof, all checked. And remember, you don't get a check unless you get it in the level play. So if we already had it from the previous level, it would not show a check. You have to get it in the level. All right, so here we go. We're going to use a female character to spin to win all the way up top. If you're smarter than I am, you'll go a little bit slower, but I thought I was speedy, and I fell off, so we'll try this again. And this time we make it, and the final mini kit for level 18 is now in the bag. So 
If you're here for mini kits or, or a couple of items, we have them all. Feel free to move on to level 19 now. Uh, if you're here to hang out and say, hey, well, you're in the right place. We're going to go ahead and finish this out. And basically, uh, there's not a whole lot left. I'd say another two minute toes or so. Minute toes. And uh, yeah, you should know how to solve this. You have to basically build the hot bricks. And then you move the little lever item, put it into place. And then there's uh, three lanterns that you fill with, uh, looks like, kerosene oil or something some sort of old school pirate oil i don't know maybe it's a bunch of oil earwax or something I, it could be something else i could have gone another route people be thankful i went with the earwax even though <laughs> you never know you never know i'll just uh, i'll leave it at that I'm trying to keep this pirate series pg Last few series have been PG-13, and although the majority of you have appreciated it and find it funny, we have gotten a, <laughs> a message or two from some parents saying that, uh, you know, their five-year-old uh, didn't need to know what, uh, well, yeah, here I go again. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm just blabbering while I fill these uh, different areas with the oil. You will have to flip the wheel back to get it all the way over to the third one. And that'll lift up, and then you can use the torch one final time to light it. And, oh, yeah, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Now, once you do, you have to follow the, the old mermaid. She does this weird kind of like, hey, what's going on over here? I'm going to go back over here. Oh, yeah, let's go back over here, even though I was just basically right here. And then at that point, uh, that takes us back, and, you know, we're going to come over here, and there's a couple of angry mermaids, so we're going to show them, uh, remind them who's boss. Hey, you may have fins and legs, but uh, you know what? We rule the land. And uh, so it turns out we are going to go ahead and complete this. In order to finish the level, you do have to uh, bring both of the boxes up there and blow the side and the wall. And the best way to do it is to hop in the boat and bring it back that way. This guy is nice of us to give us a ride, even though we didn't hail a taxi or uh, give him any tips. Sorry, pal. Oh, karma. Should have given him a tip. He might have uh, pulled up a little nicer for us. We wouldn't have had to make such a quick getaway. All right, you know the deal. Pull the box all the way over. Once you get close to this mermaid, she yells at you. Smack her around a bit. See, I didn't even take her out. I was I was the kind gentleman here. Took the higher route and uh, <laughs> literally knocked her off to the lower route. So that's how we rope. Once this baby's up here, go ahead and grab it. Yeah, I had a weird issue here. A little glitchy glitcherson. And, uh, yeah, now I got it all the way back down. Unfortunately, I couldn't walk back up that last staircase. So, yeah, and look at that. Talk about bad luck. Meanwhile, meanwhile, look at Jack over there. Doing, 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 doing. What is he even doing right now? Like, that's, that's what I want to know. The good news is, though, I didn't have to bring it all the way back up or whatever. It just respawned. And uh, so I got kind of lucky there. Go ahead and grab the torch and light the dynamite once it's in place, and that'll take us on into the total screen. Oh, yeah. All right, so home stretch. We got 19 and 20 left, and then maybe some cleanup. We do have a full-on textual guide that has everything that these videos didn't cover and more. And, uh, yeah, thank Doug for that. Doug put a lot of hard work and uh, time into that, so hopefully you'll find it useful. And, yeah, on to the end. If you did, feel free to tell us down below in the comment section. And you can always head over to Facebook or Twitter, too. We do a lot of action over there. Lots of stuff going on. And uh, subscribe if you feel we helped you out. Give us a vote one way or the other. Please tell us. Uh, if, if you give us a thumbs down, make sure you tell us why. You know, we're, we're not uh, against a thumbs down if you didn't like it. But we want to know why so we can improve it. And HappyThumbsGaming.com is available as well. We got all sorts of stuff going on over there. Uh, right now, there's actually a contest going on. So it ends today. Better get on over there. Today is a long time ago if you're watching this in 2014. Today is right now in 2013. <laughs> All right. As always, until next time. See ya.